your suburban guide to Stronger Together Part 2. More RNG coming to Fortress Vandibles. Welcome to the Simmons Wizarding World, your chill place to get you Wizarding Night news without all the hype. Thank you for joining me in the office, getting ready. Very well. Uh, I'll just be in my office getting... Um getting ready. So hopefully you caught my tweet earlier uh, telling you if you have enough potion ingredients, what to brew and how to queue them. This video is coming out later obviously, which is why I put the tweet out. So follow me on Twitter if you want the latest news and tip advice. So in this video we'll be running through the summary of rewards, the ingredients list, and then in the restricted section we'll be going through all the foundables and how to get them, and then we'll be going through all the tasks, and then loads of tips and tricks on uh, how to progress through those. Just want to say thanks to Wizards Unite Hub and Matt Annie Magus, uh, who wrote the article, uh, which helps us uh, get the like true picture, because uh, the information in the Hub articles actually come from Phases, who, if you don't know, is a WB rep, and uh, she gives us all the official information. If you don't want the spoilers, there is a tracker at the top, and also I will be warning you before we get to that section. As a usual reminder for two-part brilliant events uh, with rune stones, it's when you use the rune stone that's important. So. If you use the rune stone before part one finishes, you'll get part one foundables. If you use them during part two, you'll get part two foundables. If you use them after the event has finished, then you'll get a mixture of both. So the event starts November the 19th. So basically in a few hours time, and that's 2 p.m. Eastern time, and that's 7 p.m. UTC. And then it ends on November the 26th at 2 p.m. Eastern time, which is 7 p.m. UTC. So, a summary of rewards. We will be getting 15 restricted section books, seven spell books, a Wizengamot robes portrait lens, feet standing on the toilet, animated portrait sticker, the classics, flurry of ministry memos portrait sticker, 62442, that's the entrance code to the Ministry of Magic, the visitor's entrance, which spells magic, by the way. Right, I'll just get my mobile money. That's an achievement badge. We will get 50 gold, which is nice. And we have bonus rewards from the bonus assignment on top of that. Now the bonus assignment is actually looking pretty good. You can see how much I was struggled through it last time. Uh, this time doesn't seem to be so bad. I thought they're taking on feedback and hopefully they're watching my videos to see our suburban play. And I've talked to Faces in the past, so hopefully she's actually watching some of the videos. Well, when I say talked, I like typed. Our port keys, again, are still 3K. The way port keys work depends on when you pick them up. So if you pick them up during the first part of the event, you'll get first part rewards. And if you pick them up during the second part of the event, you get a second part rewards. So much like part one, uh, the rewards uh, in this event from completing a section contribute to your next section. But they don't give everything. You'll still need to get some ingredients yourself. So the free store pack details have come out and they're on the side there. They don't really help too much with these ingredients. So close your ears if you don't want to know what potions you need. For two invigoration draft, you'll need two honey water, two scurvy grass. For two strong extemulos, you'll need one ream blood, six bitter root, eight snowdrops. For the four healing potions, you need four wormwood, 12 bubia tuba pus, eight dittany, and four dragon liver. Now they're the most common ingredients really, so hopefully you have those in stock. If not, grab them now while you see them, because you will need them. Uh, yes, we do get rewarded some ream blood and some other bits of bobs, which kind of help. But yeah, they don't give us all the ingredients. So moving on to the restricted section. Now, this is your official SOS warning. We are now going to look at the foundables. Now we'll be looking at tasks. Now we'll be looking at task-specific tips. So in the wild, we'll be having our Arthur Weasley. Now he will be along with the previous foundables. The part two one tends to be fairly dominant over the other spawns, so you should be okay. From event tasks, which are the easy ones, that is brilliant Percy Weasley, and one brilliant Constant Pickering. It'd be interesting in terms of a storyline to see what the Constant Pickering like text is as it comes through. I'm kind of hoping they're going to wrap up a good storyline soon, um, wrap all these clues, much like Ingress does. They have live action. We can't do live action here because everyone's a cartoon, but maybe a comic strip. A comic should be quite cool, I think. From our 3K brilliant port keys we have the Daily Profit. And Wizarding Challenges, we get three brilliant Flurry of Ministry Memos and three brilliant Hermione Grangers. 
Yes, we have two rewards from challenges. So this adds another level of RNG to our fortresses. Before, it's just whether we get awarded or not. And usually, about four or five runs, unless you're really unlucky, you'll be sorted. Now you've got the risk of reward or not, plus the risk of getting the reward you don't need. Now if these are evenly balanced, you should be fine. A bit of RNG hitting in there, but you know, a few more goes than normal, we should be okay. If, like the brilliant foundables in the wild, they are weighted, uh, it could get quite annoying. Um, I really hope they haven't done that, because I, I don't like the game to be annoying. I like the tasks to be things you progress through and have to do, but I don't want them to be frustrating, like some of the, our previous brilliant tasks were, where the, it was kind of use six potions, then brew. That seemed to be deliberately designed, and it was quite annoying, didn't flow very nicely. But tasks and rewards in this version do flow quite nicely into each other. So now we're going to dive into all our tasks. So, again, it's four parts. Part one, we need to play three wizarding challenges for two restricted section books. Defeat five fortress foes for ten brilliant family XP. And add a friend. Again, I'll be dropping probably my friend code into a tweet for 15 minutes. Uh, you can use that. And if you reply to that tweet, I can add a few people from there. And those rewards, we'll be getting 500 wizarding XP at two restricted section books, one spellbook, one wizarding mod robes portrait lens, four lovage ingredients, two vervain infusion ingredients. So tips for task one. Depending on your suburban energy levels, you could run three of the lowest chambers for the first set of tasks. But I would suggest doing at least tower one with the stronger together rune stones to get a decent chance of rolling the dice to get the foundables for the registry. Set of task two. Brew two invigoration draft potions for 20 brilliant family XP. Use two invigoration draft potions for 15 brilliant family XP and defeat five fortress foes for three restricted section books. And the rewards are one spell book, one dark detector, ministry bay windows columns portrait frame, one ream blood ingredient, uh, two abraxas hair ingredients, obviously, obviously a feed into the next ones, and a brilliant Percy Weasley registry sticker. As you can see, these are very fortress heavy. For task two, hopefully you can just collect these potions, not a problem. Again, I would suggest using at least tower one for a good chance of the brilliant foundables. Again, there are two, so we don't quite know how well RNG Jesus is going to play into this. You could get very unfavorable rolls and need to actually hit it quite a few times. So three or four. Use one dark detector for 500 wizarding XP. Brew two strong extimulate potions for 500 wizarding XP. Return five high threat or higher foundables for five brilliant family XP. And those rewards are 25 brilliant family XP, three restricted section books, one spell book, and feet standing on toilet, animated portrait sticker. I suggest using three dark detectors, at least you get a decent chance of getting a decent uh, foundable for your registry as well. Also, try and find somewhere warm, like uh, say in the northern hemisphere we're heading into winter, uh, let's try and find a warm like coffee shop or something to do this, because to get the most out of your dark detectors you need about half an hour, and I've been standing out in the cold and it's not so fun. So collect your two strong stimulos if you brewed ahead of time, or if you didn't have the ingredients, start brewing them as soon as you get the rewards on the previous task, and then start the healing potions as soon as you can. High threat foundables should be easy enough with all the brilliant foundables around. Um, they're all high threat anyway. It's probably worth doing the DDs first uh, and just seeing how many high threat foundables you get from that before having to grind away for the extra few. I imagine that the dark detectors would probably actually get you uh, all the high threat foundables as well. Set four of four is brew four healing potions for 25 Ministry of Magic family XP. Use four healing potions for 750 wizarding XP. Play three wizarding challenges for 15 brilliant family XP. And those rewards are Flurry of Ministry Memos Portrait Sticker, 50 gold, five restricted section books, one spell book, and a brilliant Constance Pickering Registry Sticker. So hopefully you started brewing those potions already if you weren't renting, and you can just click those. For the fortresses, uh, again, if you're low on energy in Suburban, Player, or Roll Roll, um, you can just hit the most basic chamber just to get that count up. Now, the bonus assignment. Uh, defeat 30 wizarding foes, so that's in fortresses for three spell books. 
Return at 30 high threat foundables for 2,000 wizarding XP. I would also suggest using a brain elixir for that. And then play 15 wizarding challenges for the 62442 portrait sticker. And those bonus rewards are 100 brilliant family XP, stronger United Ministry ID achievement badge. Not a huge amount of rewards, but I think that's because not a lot of people can achieve those. So I don't want to make it seem unfair for us suburban players and also rural players. Yay, no severes this time. Just go on those fortresses for the foes. And depending on your energy reserves, uh, you probably ought to find the right balance of chamber um, to be easy enough to hit it a number of times, but to be hard enough to give you a decent amount of challenge XP and get some more red books. So we're gonna go through a few of the tips now. So if you're not renting a cauldron, brew two invigoration draft and two strong extimulo potions. If you have the ability, as soon as possible. Don't collect until you need to. Also add four healing potions after you've collected those two strong extinguilo potions, uh, if you're not renting, of course. If you are renting, you can whack those four healing potions into a gold cauldron. But most importantly, don't pick them up till you need to. If you're doing one set of tasks per day, so if you're chilling out quite easily, don't need to worry about brewing these in advance because you can just brew them for the next time you're playing the following day. So you don't need to stress. So I hope you find these tips useful. I will be uh, vlogging uh, daily as well so I'll be recording during the evening and then editing and uploading the following day like and subscribe hit the bell and uh, join me for the ride uh, see some rural play uh, I'll play in areas that uh, look uncannily like Privet Drive so if you like that sort of English town stuff then subscribe to me now so I wish you all the best of luck in this part two of the brilliant event let me know in the comments below how it's going you can also hit me up on Twitter. Feel free to at me on Twitter if you want uh, some advice. Um, I'm in contact with the other WooTubers as well. So if I'm stuck, I can ask them. And we have links to the hub and everything else. So through me, you should hopefully be able to, you know, get your questions answered. So until next time, get your ones ready. Brush up on your spells. Wizards Unite. <laughs>